Everyone loves to save money. And we're here to help you play the best games at the lowest possible price. Hi, I'm Marky. And I'm Freddy, and today we got great deals to cover. So with that being said, let's get started. The first game we have for this week is at Base Buy, and the game we chose is Outriders for $24.99, dropping all the way from its regular price or $40. Outriders was a game that I think launched amidst a couple of big games, but wound up being falling under the radar, sadly. Um, but it is pretty much as it states. It's a co-op based wave shooter with also a lot of objectives to tackle where you can play with friends or by yourself. Now, those games do tend to repeat themselves a lot, but actually there is a beginning to end story for this game. While there's gear to upload, uh, gear to upgrade rather, skills to check out, it's all built on a story that does have a beginning and an end. So it's nice to have a game that actually reaches a conclusion as opposed to one that uh, just kind of keeps going with content. It's definitely a through the story kind of uh, experience. But it's a great mixture of magic and guns that allow you to kind of play th the way you want to. There's a lot of different classes to check out and you get to experience it all with friends. So feel free to jump on into that world and enjoy it at a great low price. For Outriders, it's tough being able to strategize or communicate with your friends. So Freddy here has actually got a few tips on making sure we can make this as smooth as possible for you and your future teammates. Freddy, go for it. Thank you, Marky. When you have a couple dozens enemy, don't try to reload. Instead, switch weapons. Don't even hide. This is a game that is different than un any other shooting game that doesn't give you a chance to hide. And in fact, it will reward you for killing as many enemies as you can. Also, be warned. The enemies will always have a way to shoot at you, making you feel that you're always exposed. And that's why it's very important to choose the right character because it will highly impact your gameplay and shooting style. That's why early in the game, definitely try to to try each class before investing in upgrading their gear. Remember, if you have Base Buy credit card, you get 5% discount uh, automatically. In fact, you get it in terms of points that you can utilize for future purchases. And also, uh, GameStop is having a great deals where you can trade in the game and you'll get 50% bonus on top of the regular price that they will give you for the game. For example, as I will, the time we are recording this video, GameStop is offering $13 in store credit for the game. And they're offering a bonus of 50% on top of this number, so it will almost reach $20. In, in store credit. This means that you're basically playing a newly released game relatively uh, for almost five bucks out of pocket. This is a great deal and that's why we highly recommend it. The next game we have is also a base buy and the game we chose is Man Eater for $15. Man Eater, for any childhood dream of wanting to be a shark or just is more interested in it genuinely after watching Jaws. It's an action RPG, surprisingly, where you are a shark, and you have to, guess what, be a shark, or rather a very deadly shark. Eat up pedestrians, eat up other wildlife, fight other sharks. Now, this isn't for realism's sake. There's very crazy stuff, down to, like, lasers and metal jaws, and all of that is completely valid in this game because it's all completely wacky fun swimming all over the ocean and flailing on the shore in order to grab any pedestrians swimming by or destroying any boats it's all up to you you're going to be getting stronger every time and being able to fight stronger and stronger beasts while you're dealing with the story of a hunter who's trying to take you down 15 bucks a great way to experience a very well put together action rpg with some very fun novelty i don't know much about being a shark but I know Freddy here might have some experience, whether he know whether it where it came from or not, I don't know. But I'm gonna trust his tips. So Freddy, <laughs> I never been a shark, I promise. <laughs> anyway, when you explore caves and tunnels, it's easy to get lost. If that happens, try to look for yellow plants or lights. It's a neat little design decision that thankfully will help a lot of players from getting lost. Also, while the story can move at a brisk Peace. be sure to backtrack fairly regularly throughout your playthrough. There are a lot of collectibles and quests to do in each area, and completing them will be all the more easier when you revisit when you are a little bit more stronger. And of course, if you've been enjoying the video so far, we would very much appreciate if you could click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon for notifications so you can stay on top of those deals and even like the video so we can keep the good times going. 
And of course, we're pretty active on social media now, so in addition to these uploads, we can always let you know about any flash deals and sales through Reddit, through Facebook, and our Twitter, and other social media, so feel free to take a look at those if you want to try and stay on top of it as much as possible. Yes, that's right. Subscribing will help also our channel to grow. And with your support, we can have a community of gamers who are like us, have passion for games and don't want to break the bank. And also, as Marky said, you'll get the flash sales that we always mention on our channel, like Cyberpunk we got for $10 and other games. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get back to the deals. We can't talk about Xbox deals without mentioning Microsoft Store. And the first game we have on Microsoft Store is Castlevania Anniversary Collection for $5 dropping all the way from its regular price of $20. Old school gamers know the name Castlevania, but it's been a series that's been persisting for quite a while now, and there's actually a lot of fantastic games, and six of them are put together in this entire collection. Now, I'm not going to cover all six, but you've got things like the classic original three. You've got the Sega Genesis one. You've also got some uh, pocket ones that a lot of people haven't seen, including Kid Dracula. But there's a lot to cover in each of those games, but they're all a tried and true testament to Castlevania's lasting legacy. And we're in the month of October. It's always good for some spooks and some scares. What better way than with Castlevania? Fairly challenging platformers. Uh, different weapons, but all based around that whip and fighting Dracula, which is always a testament. A true pastime for any period of time that Castlevania wants to take place in. You get to experience six games of that for the cost of less than any combo meal you could find around here. So, without further ado, I'm going to throw it over to Freddy to give us some tips on hunting vampires. Thank you, Marky. For the original Castlevania game in this collection, it's tempting to look at the hearts and think that when you collect them, they will replenish your health. Not in this game. The heart actually acts as ammunition for your side weapon. You're right, it doesn't make sense. If you need health, use your whip on the various walls even when it looks that there is nothing there. You might discover some roast chicken hiding in the walls and that chicken will give you some health, so keep an eye out. Also for Castlevania 4, remember that you can now use the whip in much more creative ways. Not only you can whip up, down or diagonally, you can hold the attack button down and move the control stick to flail the whip around yourself. This may definitely will look silly, but it's actually very useful for protecting yourself from incoming projectiles, so give it a shot and the next time there is too many fireballs coming your way. Now, if classic Castlevanias aren't really your thing, uh, we don't want to fret. We still want to keep up to date with all of that Castlevania goodness. And if you're an Xbox Live Gold member, the free games for the month of October, uh, one of them is Castlevania Harmony of Despair, an online multiplayer game that actually covers all eras of the Castlevania series. I won't go into details too much. We are going to be covering our games with gold in a separate video, of course, but we just want to make sure any Castlevania fans or anybody looking to jump into the series has as many options as possible. So we got a free game and a $5 game, a total of seven titles that are worth exploring. And we want to make sure everybody knows about that so that they can jump in on it before Halloween's over. The next game we have is also a Microsoft Store, which also implies that the game is digital, not physical. The game is Nier Automata for $20, dropping from its regular price of $40. Yoko Taro, if you don't know what those words mean, you might not, it's the name of somebody, and it's the creator of the Nier series. And let me say this, like Kojima of the Metal Gear series, we are exploring quite a crazy story here. It's a game that definitely warrants a multiple playthroughs and looks, and actually the game is bent on that. I'm gonna mention this. Uh, the first time you see the credits roll, keep playing. That's not the entire story, please. That's all I'll say. But it's a fantastic story that's very rich in symbolism, very rich in philosophical thinking. It all kicked in a beautiful action RPG made by Platinum Games, the people who've been doing Bayonetta and Vanquish. It's fantastic because they managed to isolate it down into a beautiful RPG where you can explore it and destroy as many things and you can get as creative as possible with each of the plug-in chips and stuff, so it's a great game to play with a fantastic story wrapped around it. Now, Freddy, I've played this game, you've played this game, we've probably thrown it around a few times, of course, and I want to make sure that we have all of our tips ready to make sure everybody jumping into this game can enjoy it to their fullest, so if you got anything, shout it out. Definitely. Thank you, Marky. This might sound redundant, but save as often as possible. The autosave mechanic is very unforgiving, and you could possibly lose a lot of progress due to a simple mistake. 
Also, whenever you see the vending machine looking transfer stations, make sure you click save and also be sure to go into the pause menu whenever you're in the open world and manually save just to be safe. We both, Mikey and I, made a lot of mistakes, forgot to save, and we regret it later. Also, unlike other action games, there is no skill tree, luckily. Instead, the only way to upgrade your abilities or give yourself new ones is with the plug and chips. This needs to be manually added in the pause menu. The bright side is that this will allow you to customize how you want to play. You can give all your attacks a shock, wave to hit multiple enemies, and you can even add a chip that will automatically heal you. Also, last thing I want to say, enjoy the beautiful music in this game. Put headphones on and it's definitely memorable. Whenever we talk about Microsoft Store, I always mention my favorite classic coupon. It's from Cash App. It gives you 15% discount on any purchase. Once you apply the boost, I will be explaining more about it in the details below. And to make the deals even better, I created a little diagram where you can combine two deals together to get even better discounts, maybe up to 20 or 25% discount if done right. And it's very simple, trust me. You just go to top cash back first, and then you pay on the Microsoft store using your debit card that is linked to cash app. This way you can get advantage of both deals together. The next game we have on Microsoft Store is Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain Definitive Edition for $9.99, dropping all the way from its regular price of $40. Another fantastic game from a very creative mind, Hideo Kojima. Um, it blitzed through the Metal Gear series one year, and I just enjoyed every single bit of it, but learning it so fast was actually, I feel, almost an even better way to experience this story. And it was all to prepare for Metal Gear Solid V. A fantastic tale that's put together, but even better than that, with interesting stories and interesting characters to explore, it gives you a fantastic open world stealth game, the likes of which that I almost feel hasn't been seen yet. Uh, the amount of things that you're able to do or able to discover is staggering. And just messing around with stuff, it gives you plenty of freedom to do so. And you're rewarded for it by experiencing new little audio logs that expand the story a lot more, or finding different things that can help your base back at, uh, back at home base, rather. And it all feeds into the main central plot. It's full of symbolism, but it's also full of that really gritty military style that's really good, but mixes in enough philosophical thinking to really get you thinking. It's a mixture of the best of both worlds when it comes to hardcore games and hardcore like art style uh, titles. And you can get all of that at less than 10 bucks. It's a great way to do it. Now, Freddy and I have both played Metal Gear, but we've also both played Nier, and we're kind of hitting the same beats here. But of course, you can't go wrong when it comes to tips to help you uh, navigate the world of Metal Gear Solid 5 even better. So I'm going to relay it over to Freddy here for more. Thank you, Marky. The difficulty is dynamic and AI in this game is very, very smart. For instance, the enemy will get used to your style and will get outsmarted. I normally attack at night, then I saw that the guards started wearing night goggles. I used to always throw smoke grenades before I attack and I saw that the guards putting mask now. This game will make you think and indirectly pressure you to change your plan and the way you handle things. So you always look over your tools and weapons before you take it on a mission. You might find a new favorite strategy but always keep an open mind for new tricks and you'll find yourself never bored messing with the enemies in this game. Also, the story is continuation to Ground Zero, so make sure you play this one first. The de definitive edition that we recommended comes with the Ground Zero, and that's why we recommended over just the regular Phantom Pain. And to make the deal even better, it's highly recommended that you play a Metal Gear Solid 3, but that's optional. But at least get the definitive edition if you want to experience Metal Gear Solid at the next uh, generation level in comparison to the PlayStation 2 level. Now we want to remind all of our viewers that we are still doing our giveaway. We have changed the amount, actually. Uh, we're doing a $10 Xbox Live gift card for when we hit 200 subscribers. We're going to be rewarding it to people who are like very uh, connected with our community. We're commenting a lot. We're always appreciating feedback. But for in exchange for all that support, we want to be able to show a little bit of gratitude with this giveaway. Uh, the, of course, the details are in the description below, including the link. We're going to be offering, you know, points, entries in the contest for 
following us on Twitter, for checking out our Facebook page, you know, all that good stuff so that you can stockpile as many entries as possible and be able to, in addition to supporting us to help you get better deals, jump in and maybe get a little bit of a gift card so you can jump on the next big game on sale. That's right. And also we have a PlayStation 5 raffle. Uh, we call, we got the collaboration uh, for PlayStation 5. And uh, if you're interested in adding a new console to your collection, and definitely it's a special console that everyone wants to get hands on. And there's a link in the description below to for an entry uh, for the raffle. Of course, we got a couple honorable mentions for you, and we actually got it at a few different retailers. Over at GameStop, We've got the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, an entire trilogy of sci-fi RPGs that are completely fantastic and I can't recommend enough, all the way down to $39.99. I think it's one of the lowest prices we've seen, so you can jump on it and get some great content out of there. Over at Best Buy, we've got a co-op classic, or soon-to-be classic, called It Takes Two, down to $24.99. Grab a friend, enjoy the great puzzles, and the great story about building a relationship, which is perfect for a co-op title. And over at Best Buy as well, we've got Marvel's Avengers, all the way down to $19.99. They're, of course, adding more heroes. They just got a Black Panther expansion, so you can jump on in. You can get heroes ready for when they add new ones so that you can stay on top of it and be excited for Marvel like everybody else is, especially if you haven't been watching the movies or TV shows recently. Um, I also want to mention that Marvel's Avengers is going to be hitting Game Pass relatively soon. It's an option, so if you have Game Pass, you'll be able to jump on that for free and be able to enjoy it. But anybody who's looking for a physical disc, it can get it for an extremely low price. I would also like to mention that, uh, personally, uh, because I like to save money on games as much as possible, I would always choose physical game over digital, just because when I finish from the physical disc, I can trade it in or sell it locally and get my money back. Uh, or at least partially back, so this way I can put it toward a new game. We hope you enjoyed the video for this week. And of course, we're changing up our format a little bit, but we always want to hear your feedback. Do we want to cover a lot of games with very less details? Do you want to cover a couple of the big titles and go into the details on why you should be playing them? Uh, all options are open and all bets are off, so feel free to jump into those comments and let us know whenever you can. Also, if you got other consoles like PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, or Nintendo Switch, we have separate videos for those, so make sure you check them out. See you soon.